Hello and welcome back to EU4 and here we are in India fighting a war because yeah there, there's not a ton of stuff we can do in in Europe anymore um, we have a few wars we can do and want to do but for the time being I don't think we have a ton of possibilities left to us and of course we lost our three star with him moving of course Uh, let's stock up, let's heal the, uh, that, and... Uh... Okay, we got a decent one. Uh, yes, embrace. Let's rush over there. I did not read that. Uh, not that I didn't mean to, I just clicked out of habit. Oh, they get delivered. I think trying to go up to the capital and occupy that one is going to be a good thing to do. Uh, okay, 22 and we get one more idea group. I think we should try to go for... He has three. One, two, three. Is that correct? One, two, three. Yes, it is. And then Venad is... Okay. Let's move down there and take back that capital. So he can actually do something. And there the capital fell. Uh, let's wait for this one to get controlled and do this, this, this and this. Now we need a bit more. Let's see if we can squeeze out a bit more. We have lost a lot of manpower but that is Usually the way it goes with um, the wars these this far away. Um, especially when you walk into the fog of war as well. Uh, yeah, the strengthened ones. Okay, uh, that means we most likely have enough. 
Um, yeah. Um, see if we can squeeze out a bit more because why is that too much Sure, let's go for siege ability. Because why not? Why not? 155. Yeah, I am um, trying to find some more forts because that's where the war score is. Uh, mo uh, most of the time that's where the war score is. There we had one. Yeah. Might be a good thing to unpause if you actually want time to progress. Uh, there we go, that is enough. Uh, now I might want to squeeze out a bit more because greed. That's most likely a fort. Yes, it is. That's not a fort, but... Let's see if we can... He has military tech of 17. He's not that far behind, but it's, he's enough behind that we are just destroying him. First these gatherings. Here we go. Ceylon Sea. Coast of Maldives. Oh, right. I need to... Um... Oh, right. Uh, good thing that I remembered. Let's go down here. And actually... Let's go down like this, fix that, and... Yeah, I think we should, at this point, piece him out. Madurai. Madurai. Yeah, I think I'm going to give control of all of Malabar to... Madurai and give this one as well and then we'll see how much we can take uh not a lot more <laughs> uh wow south karnatic yeah, let's... 
Uh, right, uh, what I sh should do since I have a lot better war score cost a reduction. Like my core creation cost reduction is affecting how much we can take. So I should take as much for myself as possible and then give it to him. But I can't take this. Are you serious? Am I going to have to stay in this? Yes, I am. Are you saying over here? Oh my god, I, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. This is why I hate when the AI takes stuff over here in Africa. The, the European AI in Africa is so bad it's not even funny how bad they are because uh, and here and here's a big thing because they don't know how to ferry troops over and another thing for the papal state is that they don't have that many like this is their main land they are landlocked in Europe. <laughs> like... Oh. Okay, you just had to die en route, sure. Let's see, let's bring you over here. Over there, maybe. No, it's there. What's the next one to take? Morale of armies. Yes, please. That is the be better option. And they are screaming for peace. We have 100% because of it. Let's take it. Let's squeeze them on money. Here we go. Let's bring you down over there. Take that. And that. Like that. We can annul that treaty. And there we go. And yes, I will give him uh, Vani because of the culture. So let's see what we can do when it comes to giving away a bunch of land. Uh, this one. 
it's better to give it away, integrate it, and then make it part of a trade company. The nod for various reasons, but mostly it's, um, it's uh, administrative power, cost efficient. Uh, Plus, they core it faster and less likely for them to have uh, rebel problems. Whereas the Sinhalese, I will take care of. Let's remove the dock because they are utterly useless. But now doing clicking increase autonomy is not good because you decrease your absolutism, but I don't care. I just don't want to be forced to go to Maldives because there's rebels there. Now what I can do is go and stand with this one there. Take these. Go. Yeah, sure. Let's turn a blind eye. And... Oops. Sometimes you click a bit too fast. Do this. Do this. There we go. Uh... See if we can... Yeah, I think we will uh, very soon be um, getting manpower uh, is good. But yeah, I think we should um, we should really try to uh, fight Spain at this point. Now, fighting Spain is going to be painful. That is going to be painful. So... <sighs> hmm? It seems like... In France, could we please stop being in debt? Like... I'm not going to give Ottomans 2,000 ducats uh, because I know they can get out of it if they want to. And the big reason why they won't <laughs> join our war is because, uh, yeah, we don't have any favors with them. We need four more. So... Okay, so you actually have more debt. Why, France, do you have so much debt? Why? You know what? I'll give you 500 more. If you can't get rid of your debt, then I don't care. Okay, it's gone.
good. Now, Spain has 110,000 and France has 65,000, which um, I wonder why they only have such a puny amount of stuff, really. It's... It's pathetic. Shun is doing really well. Kaosui Li. Korea has been the emperor. But it seems like Shun has been the emperor for quite some while uh, for quite a while now. Seems like it anyway. Ikuchi Ochi, Ochi, uh, Shoni, Japan, Ainu, Aishi, Liang, Yue, Wu, yeah, Jompu, Sin, Timurid. It seems like the Timurids actually like bounced back uh, because uh, Transoxiana had a lot of land into Persia which now the Timurids own, which is interesting. Italy, Aden, Gazikmo, Sulu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Ottomans basically has one or two more wars and they have taken all of Egypt. And then they will get even more permanent claims. Uh, hopefully they keep on concentrating on the Mamluks and like Persia and don't go wild into Europe again which would be bad that would not be good that would be terrible Uh, let's see. Where is the boat? Where is the boat? Are you going home, boat? Yes, you are. That's good. Uh, can we buy any more stuff over here? Not there, at least. Uh... Nope. Uh, let's see if we can increase the relation. Uh, the thing is, I need to... Fix a lot of stuff over here. Unrest 9. That's not good. That's not good at all. But that's most likely because of the wrong religion. Yeah, yeah, that's most likely because of uh, it being the wrong religion, which isn't good. But at least we know. Have them train. Let's drop you off. Seems like they are now fully healed. Da -da -da. Let's. I, I do want to help. Uh, I usually try to build in my vassal because of a few reasons, uh, and that is the AI sucks at building, and Kilwa. 
Oh my god, France, are you serious? Ah. Oh. An Ottoman is defender of of the Sunni faith and will protect. Oh, France, you. Mm. Okay, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to. I, I'll decline and then I will actually load the latest auto save because. No. Just no. France should not want to fight anything with how bad their manpower and army and economic situation is. They would not want to fight anything. Yes, I fixed their debt, but the French manpower is not good. So... I will uh, actually give myself those 30,000 manpower back because, uh, yeah, France declaring that stupid war out of nowhere. I, uh, I'm not going to. What did you even attack for? Was it Kilva? Was it actually Kilva? I would not be surprised if it was. Mombasa. 13,000. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. This is just bullshit. I, I can't get my troops back in time. What is this? I I might just have to like declare the war and um, go with it. This is bullshit. Yeah, I'm going to have to just declare the war and go with it, because... Ugh. This way, France does not want any wars. They shouldn't want any war uh, at all anyway, but for some reason they do. For some reason they do. But anyway, let's go. the ship far far away there we go let's go Spain is... They are very... Hard to fight. Uh, Castile is actually less... Uh, uh, dangerous, because... Castile gets a lot of... Uh, 
or is it the other way around i can't remember uh but yeah what i can't remember exactly which one is the easy one uh in regards to the other but one is a bit scarier than the other because of uh, how their ideas are uh, are made one of them has more military focus and the other one has more color like colonist uh, and colony making focus than the other one Colon, okay. Let's go and see if we can pummel you a bit. Spain lost a lot of troops. That's good. Madurai could actually take care of his own rebels. That's very good. Uh, what I should do is actually try to help him. I can't bring these ones back. It's not going to happen. So we should try to just improve wherever we can. Let's go and sit on Köln. to push him out of the war. Now what we should do is... Make two here, go over here and push that. See if we can go over here. France is slowly but surely pushing them back, thankfully. What's really good is that since we have such a high, uh, I'm just going to say this, if if this province gets released because of Papal State, I'm going to cheat it back. Just FYI. Uh, Mostly because the AI sucks. If the AI did a good job of rebel fighting in Africa, this would not have happened. So I'm going to assume that if it happens, I'm going to take it back and assume that they actually did a good job despite not doing it. Adeborn. Let's rush down here. Since we, since we have uh, such a high army of professionalism, um, we uh, get the manpower back when we disband, which is super good. Pyreneo. Let's go and sit on Valencia. Stack wipe after stack wipe.
Grüße Lohn. If France can take the brunt of that, that is going to be super good. Now what we want to do here is annul treaties with Spain and let's force you to release a few nations like Cleves or should we say Mainz and Utrecht and give back like Hoya or Brun or Hoya to Brunswick yeah let's do that wait until he has been fully sieged i think let's go down there bring you over to toledo and uh, these ones can be upgraded you can be upgraded as well now france isn't going to get anything out of this france is just going to spend manpower and money on this Just FYI. And I forgot about time again, so. But with that, we have crippled along a bit. We are spending a lot of diplo points, but that's fine. Uh, if we can release a bit of nations into the HRE, that is actually good at this point because of all the blobbing that has been going on in this uh, playthrough it's like the amount of blobbing that has been going on is just insane it's ridiculous every single nation has blobbed we did it fairly late in comparison to like France, Bohemia, Ottomans, Cologne, Spain but we did it! Rather late, but still we did it. Uh, now, Malta, we have a claim. Uh, okay, Ottomans actually set us as rivals. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks. A lot. That's not good. At all. I'm going to see if I can actually get this war done. Like, if I can actually get this to... But I don't think I can. I think I'm going to have to end the episode and continue. Yeah. I think we should do that. Um, so, thanks for watching. Goodbye. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.